So today we are going to take a look at the Labrador Retriever. This is a really fun breed. I got to tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hate on modern Labrador breeders like I've hated on some other breeds. Check out the Rottweiler and Doberman one. Those are probably the ones that are get me fired from this job. So technically, if you're seeing this, I didn't get fired, and I'm not sure why. Okay, so sweet, lovable, level-faced Labrador Retriever is America's most popular dog breed. All right, I get it. Labs are friendly, outgoing, high-spirited companions who have more than enough affection to go around for families looking for a medium to large size dog. That may be halfway accurate. My favorite thing though is when somebody tells me that their Labrador is gonna, is gonna protect them. Oh, my Labrador, he would, he would protect us. I, you're, you're funny, right? I mean, I know, I know you got a Labrador that accidentally bit a kid once or something, I don't know, or barked at the neighbor, but <laughs> let's be real. It's still a Labrador. So I'm gonna give you the tip for getting a Labrador to protect you, right? So there's one way you can do it. And I love, I love working Labradors, right? You think about this, this is a dog that is designed to jump into freezing water. I'm saying 20 degree, th wait, sorry, 33 degree water, swim all day long, retrieve drucks. I mean, in the brush, in the mud. I mean, this is a dog to hunt. God, what, I mean, how much fun, right? Like that, I love about them. And the one good thing that the people in the United States and around the world have done with Labrador, as they've kept that. Like they still hunt. Holy crap. I mean, like find me a breed that was designed to work that still has those traits prevalent in it. <laughs> I was like, none, right? I mean, there's a handful of Border Collies. There's a handful of healers, probably more healers than you would think. There's a handful of flock dogs. Flock dogs probably more than you think because there's less flock dog pets. But I mean, like gun dogs, it's like German store hair pointers and Labradors and yeah, that's, you know, they're like, I, <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of breeds, let's just say, where people have not like completely decimated them into pets, getting rid of all their genetic potential. So let's go back. How do you get your Labrador to save you? So for the people that say my Labrador would save me, because there are so many people that, that I hear that are like, if only Brooks and Miles, my Labrador will keep him. He won't. He won't. And Labrador may save himself, right? He may ask the person to leave before they open the door. He may ask him really loud. He may even take a nibble on their thigh, hoping to God that they run away. But if they don't run away, your Labrador is probably not going to save you. But here's how you do it. You grab him by the collar, you back yourself into the corner, and you point him out, right? Because a Labrador may save himself, but give him the opportunity to run when stuff goes serious, He's gonna run. Now there are outliers. I'm sure there's one that will go forward, maybe, I don't know. But those of you that think your Labrador is gonna save your life, it's not true. You're lying to yourself, you're lying to people. It should be a good hunting dog. Love it for being a good hunting dog. If you bought it as a family protector, you've lost your mind. Do your research, check your life choices. I mean, all right, you probably haven't lost your mind. I'm going a little too far there maybe. But I mean, let's get real. He's a big dog. <laughs> Come on, it's a Labrador. Hunt with him. Hunt with him. Take him out. Hunt with him. Track people. Track stuff. Find odors. Hunt with him. Hunt with him in the house. Do some nose work. Do something cool with the damn dog. Because sooner or later, it's going to go the way of the Rottweiler, where if you if you don't keep them doing their job, they, they just they go into obscurity. And there's like three people left trying to save them in the world. And that's what will happen with Labrador if you don't, if you don't stop messing this up. Anyway, get your dogging equipment from RayAllen.com because that's where all the cool working dog kids go. If you've got a pet, if you've got a pet, there's a place where the pets go. If you've got a couch potato Labrador who doesn't wanna work, go to where the pets go. Dogs wanna work, people wanna work with their dogs, they go to Ray Allen. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for taking the time. Stop by, check this out. We're gonna have a new breed soon, I'm sure.